Hey, good evening, good evening, Cape Flit Stories. Hope it's going good, Samuel. Uh, we are in the studio tonight with a very important gentleman. Um, but much love and respect for him because I can always reach out to him and he's always available. So um, before we start with politics and things, Faiz, thank you always for coming out. Thank you for being part of our programs with me, Audi. It's much appreciated. Over to you, just a bit. Faiz, what's going for Faiz, the parliamentarian? Over oh, what I see. We want to just hear about you, Faiz, you know, growing up. Just a few minutes before we start, just a little bit about yourself. Salam, uh, Stan. Uncle Stan, uh, I'm a big fan one of your, <laughs> one of your groupies. I have to autograph, correct? You're my theater. You're my theater, yeah. No, I think you're doing amazing work um, to cel- uh, celebrate our, our, our stories and tell our stories. And I, I, I like your brand. And, uh, Thank you. And I uh, want to be associated. Thank you. My name is Faiz. I was born in Klong van Marl, Dian Ibrahim. I grew up born and bred in uh, Mitchell's Plain mm-hmm. in East Ridge. Uh, um, I think the first time we met was during the elections where you did an interview with me. And yeah. um, yeah. we've been following each other yeah. and um, I'm amazed at, this, at what you guys are doing. Thank uh, you. I think we just had a hectic two weeks now mm. with uh, the policy conference. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we are, were part of a small group that went up as Western Cape mm. uh, to the National ANC policy conference. So uh, I'd like to talk a bit about that. Okay. Um, um, it's Women's Day tomorrow. Yeah. So, so I greet and salute all the, the vibrant, strong, powerful mothers and sisters uh, out there. Um, we salute the, the role that you play. Uh, we we say equal work for equal pay. That's I right. Mean, uh, <laughs> even Baf- Bayana Bayana yeah. is more b- or better than the uh, Bafana Bafana <laughs> boys, but they're still not getting the same pay. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we True. must we must uh, say great uh, stand up for the yes. all the mothers, especially the single mothers out there, uh, doing double time. Salute and happy Women's Day in advance. Awesome, awesome. But is um, small businesses are struggling on the Cape Flats. That is one of our biggest things, and I think we had this conversation. We have the issue we, and I want to be quite very forward and frank about this. Local government and national government, um, it seems to me that we have forgotten about the people on the Cape Flats, and that is how it seemed. And I have to be honest about that. And what can we expect? Because um, we, we're going into 2020, we are in 2022, we're going into, into 2023, so we just came out of lockdown. Many people lost their livelihoods, their jobs. Um, businesses have closed down. People are unemployed. What can we expect from from government? What is the for? And let me put it out there for the colored men so on the Cape Flats. Look, I think <laughs> it's tough times. Uh, petrol, fuel, alles yeah. is up. Uh, yeah. Our wages are still down. I mean, I don't want to talk about that. So. In our portfolio, I'm a I'm a whip for small business yeah. in Parliament. So I focus on small business development. Yeah. I try to bring government mm-hmm. um, closer to our community and our people mm-hmm. and provide products and services that can help with mm-hmm. um, writing of business plans, yeah. getting access to finance, um, helping with mentoring and guiding. Yeah. Look, I think um, we also want to encourage the municipality. Yeah. So the city of Cape Town is the local uh, government. They provide registration for, for, for um, for license for traders mm. but what we're picking up now and i don't want to talk politics but yeah. what we're picking up the city is not helping mm. informal traders yes uh or or parara they're trying to uh, remove our people from the parade now we, 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 we know that yeah. and our people go there mm. but now they're making it difficult yeah. they want to create white spaces yeah. and so uh, that's the one campaign i'm fighting for mm-hmm. we must make it easy for small business mm-hmm. to do business yeah. but they're making it difficult my ma is a sister in the town center mm-hmm. and she also says that she pays the i think it's about four five hundred rand mm-hmm. month monthly uh, rental there but still yeah. they don't provide security yeah. they don't clean up the town center mm-hmm. so what small business really want is a helping hand a help up not uh, so they are entrepreneurial yeah so i mean i can share with you some of the product products that we have mm-hmm. just quickly there's a township and rural entrepreneur program yeah they call it trip mm-hmm. so that project is for if you a self business person if you uh, a grease monkey a, a mechanic yeah. a welder a, a beautician yeah. um any ambach that you do yourself mm-hmm then you can get a small loan yeah. um, from 
50,000 up to 100,000 okay. to just help you formalize your business. Mm. So if you want to do a bakery, if you want to do a cheese and yama, yeah. a takeaway, if you want to do um, um, a hair products, yeah. uh, nails, beauticians. Mm -hmm. So there's a few of those. Yeah. Um, and that is just to help quickly. Mm -hmm. Then then what we do is also we give bigger loans. And I think the, the rate is like four or five below prime, okay. which is really mm -hmm. good value for money. Um, but that means that you must pay the loans back yeah. once you become sustainable. Mm -hmm. So government then take you through a process of getting funding ready. Yeah. So you see, the, the days are numbered where you're just going to get a lot of money and you're not going to make a success of it. Mm -hmm. So we, we're asking people to be ready, get their businesses, be registered, mm -hmm. and then they take the opportunity. So I've helped a few people on the Cape Flats and you can vouch yeah, for it. That's um, right. I, 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 I'm not involved in it because that's not my job, but mm -hmm. I must ensure mm -hmm. as they know how to apply it and you and you do for it, yeah. then government must deliver. And if, mm -hmm. if they don't, you can complain by me yeah. and answer like a bit the, the whip slut yeah, and yeah. To, to ensure that our people get those opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. And you were right, uh, we were busy um, with um, outreach a couple of months back um, or weeks back. We, we went to a few businesses, myself and you, and with Sifa. And the one thing that we picked up was many of our small businesses are not compliant. And I think that is something that we can't really blame government for. We need to also, when we start a business, we need to know you need to have be registered. And then you need to have a business account. And I think that is the, the, the avenues that we, we just, you know, that we need to look at. Because you can't just go to the bank for a loan. You can't just go to F&B, okay, for a loan, and you're not registered. And I think... What our people don't understand is the only way we're going to get funding from government in between, in, in, or, or loan is if we are compliant and we are registered. And I think that is one of the things that, that we are fighting. Um, is there any way our government can assist? You know, we, we spoke about this, a model where we can have, you know, something set up and get the aunties and the uncles down the road to register. Um, we have an open day and, and register for them because I think that's exactly what, what the city is doing, making it difficult for people to trade. Um, I mean... Nie allemaal die mense het a cell phone of kan access na internet toe om te gaan vir a, um, vir a permit nie. So, so I think we need to make the business, the, the, the business thing much more um, convenient for our people. Is there anything from, from government that we can expect that it will assist? Okay, so look, <coughs> there is two organizations, ne? die, die mense wat die geld het mm -hmm. en die mense wat die development support het. Mm -hmm. So, CEDA, ja. S E D A, Google it. Yeah. Give you, alles hou your hand, and they support you to develop your business plan. They yeah. come out and they do mentoring and guidance and support, mm -hmm. and they do advocacy work. Yeah. So, or you can just walk into the it's a one-stop shop, mm -hmm. Dabri Golden Acre. Yeah. Yeah. See that you you go there and say, okay, I will di dun and di dun. Yeah. Then you you arrange a, a time with a consultant. Mm -hmm. They talk you through. So, they're not providing the loans. Okay. But they get you funding ready. Yeah, Once yeah. you're funding ready and get a business plan and mm -hmm. just uh, uh, comply, registered South African bank account, all of those things, yeah. then the next group is the CIFA. CIFA, okay. Uh, South, uh, South Africa F uh, Enterprise Funding Agency. Mm -hmm. They give you the money. Yeah. They give you the grants, but they also then ensure due mm -hmm. diligence. Let's know yeah. the tough guys. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. If, you, if you pass them, then you're yeah. going to get your money it, and, you, and you uh, sort it. And I think then the other projects is also we want to encourage big companies mm -mm. to support small businessmen. Yeah. We yeah. must please buy your vegetables, your, buy your local. We, we have this culture that we just all want to run to the malls. Yeah. So we're saying that even malls must yeah. have a dedicated 50% yeah. of the mall or 20% mm. of the mall yeah. must be for small businesses. Yeah. So even as Ignita, uh, uh, um, a leer dingety koop of a doily mark of yeah. whatever, in the mall, yeah. we must have space for small business because mm. you see, that money don't go all to the big companies no. and then it goes out of the, mm. the, the township That's right. and, and uh, then the money doesn't see. Mm -hmm. So if you were baker, barber, whatever, if you get money as a, a, a belt maker, mm -hmm. then you can in turn give him a job mm -hmm. that he makes the bakery and in that way that yeah. rand stays in our townships. Exactly. So that's also what we want to do. Yeah. They talk about local is liquor. Mm -hmm. We also talk about localization. Yeah. We force now the big companies to say, we want South African products mm -hmm. in our shops. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So as your motor liquor, blachang mark, or whatever, 
why can't we develop that acha with the label and we get it exactly. hygiene and hygiene everything yeah, yeah. and then that <laughs> and then that product yeah. must be in the shop yeah so yeah. so we already looking at getting people mm-hmm. we don't just want people to be yet the bottom with informal traders yeah, yeah. we also want them to see all these other opportunities mm-hmm. um what they call the third industrial revolution, revolution the drones yes. mm-hmm. the technology mm-hmm. the 4 ir mm-hmm. um There's a lot of what they call incubator hubs. That's right. No? So mm-hmm. the government is saying, guys, we must also get into that space. Mm-hmm. We all can't just sell to sisters no, and no. and uh, Clara. Yeah. Can, uh, <laughs> But and there's the other spaces. <laughs> that's the problem because when you start a let's say a takeaways, I'm going to start it, Nandis is going to start it. We also need to be uh, you know innovative. Come up with different ideas because we all can't have a takeaways. Okay, you have a takeaways. I sell cool drinks. At least we complement one another in this business for all of us. You know, so I think that is the other thing with, that we need to focus on is to be um, innovative, come up with different ideas, and also, like I said earlier, um, um, become compliant. That is the main thing. For is you were at a conference recently, and um, you you sent me a lot of stuff, so I didn't I didn't read through it yet. I must still read through it, but but tell me more about. You know what is what can we expect? Although I can't buy it unless we also buy it unless it's a main set of little hoop for any ANC. But you must not tell us why must we you know consider because I'm totally for the colored people and I'll be honest with you, um, our people don't get the representation anyway and that's why I, I have you here. You're one of us. You grew up in our community. You know the struggles. What is it that we can expect from government? Okay. Let's separate the ANC from government. Okay. Right? Okay. So okay. now I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk about ANC. Which answer, okay. Right? So uh, <clears throat> the reason why colored people must worry or must be concerned about mm. ANC policies. Mm-mm. Now, first of all, was Amelis is killing me. Was Amelis is corrupt. Yeah. Eka as the ANC van dieta ja, but I didn't don't steal. I play in my area. I play in my area car. I'm compliant. I'm a I'm, I'm a faith based person. Yeah. I'm not perfect. So mm-hmm. I believe that our lot, mm-hmm. the colored people or any people, the mm-hmm. people that was uh, brutalized by apartheid and still suffering. That's right. I st- I believe that my root is mm-hmm. I there's still salvation for them because mm-hmm. the ANC is a broad church. Yeah. The ANC say history is non-racial. Mm-hmm. I I fight coloreds, Muslims, uh, uh, Indians, uh, Jews, others. Yeah. Yeah. But the party also lost its way. I must also be the first to admit. Yeah. yeah. Um, the uh, the Mensa hit self-serving harak. Um, some of our leaders y- use the position for self in the region. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, my approach is also also an opti ANC flag and the values that Mandela taught us. Yeah. Because I come from a generation mm-hmm. where I was clipped for it in the eighties mm-hmm. and I was at Sam for toy toy and we believed that freedom in our lifetime and we believe. That the struggle was for everybody. Mm-mm. Also, uh, we, we were not white enough then. Mm-mm. Now people say we're not black enough. But my approach is stop being the victim colors. That's right. My my gedachte is kijk eens, stop being the house niggers colors. You are a South African colored. So claim your space. Yeah. You have a rightful place. You're not Mm-mm. black enough. You're not white enough. Mm-mm. You are enough. Tijd genoeg. You you are equal citizen. So you don't have to be better. Or worse, mm. because you see, that trap of unfair liking, it is also part of our own mental slavery, man. Mm. You must claim your space. The kinders from today, they must say, okay, there's an NS first bursary. Um, the ANC government has brought as yeah. part of our policy mm. conference, it gives free bursaries for all what metric and what uh, quite um, what exemption it. Yeah, that is ANC policy. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So all that now go on policy, and now we're making the rules, and now it must be implemented by government. Mm-hmm. So the reason why colored people must worry about the policies of the ANC is because the ANC still, with all our problems, mm-hmm. yeah, was it crude fights and was Maclay, but we still are pro poor. Mm-hmm. We are still pro uh, people. We are still. It's not the DA that that support the the three fifty grant. Mm-hmm. And by means of the nice economy and that's problems, but it's the ANC. Mm-hmm. It's the ANC that brings free education into. Uh, uh, for NSFAS for our kids. Yeah. Now, who doesn't benefit? Mm. In my stats in Parliament, mm. it's the coloured male child. Mm. That's the lowest person. Who so also like this fun fun and never park in Menembe. Mm. The percentage is only seven percent of coloureds are taking the NSFAS. Yeah, which is called to say, that's the government's is called. 
Because they like this, she need the value from education and the mass and the past, she need the value from education. So now what happens, a new generation of uh, colored boys from Langa, mm-hmm. that's still, I mean, African boys from Langa, mm-hmm. that gets them out, out of a generation of poverty. Mm-hmm. They school to, they get um, a degree mm-hmm. and then create the opportunities. Mm-hmm. And then what they also like this, they are for OC. They are for OC. So yeah. I'm also saying, I'm putting it back. I just live for my men, yeah. but I'm also not going to pay to this victim mentality yes. bullshit. Sorry to say that. <laughs> but but you were right. Uh, you know, somebody said earlier on here, what do the government for also mean, sir? Now, when we go into the community, we don't buy because sister from the people next door to us because we don't like them. We have this thing where this crap mentality. And that is the thing. We can only blame ourselves. We need to change that concept. Because it, w- it wouldn't have been necessary for us to wait for handouts if we start kickstarted our economy by supporting one another. And you were right. Uh, I have to agree with you. We don't have that of supporting one another. We don't have that of supporting one another. We don't have that of supporting one another. We don't have that of And I do agree with you there. Okay, so look, let me just see. I want to be controversial. No? Mm-hmm. Colored outside Cape Town as any ANC. Mm-hmm. So all that now a whole delegation, all that now a West Coast regional conference, And the colors and the Africans in Mamasbury and Matikama and I, all the Amalas in the ANC, all the 20 Rand Batal, all the ANC member, yeah. they can choose who their, their branch leader is mm-hmm. and they can part with the process. Yeah. So they've already s- almost, s- mm. they've already seen that it makes sense for them to be yeah. part of yeah. the solidarity between mm-hmm. African and colored people. Mm-hmm. I asked the question, Yes. Why is that solidarity? Leave, you don't have to be in the ANC. Yeah. We don't want you to support the ANC. But why is there not solidarity first amongst colors, mm-hmm. amongst themselves? Your point. Yeah. Nah? Because we'll strike Macau. But also solidarity amongst the poor people. Mm-hmm. Let's say poor Capetonians. Yeah. Who come to us back claim at Macau? Who come to us back claim at And how can we, because who benefits from the divide and rule and othering? Mm-hmm. Who benefits? You know who benefits. <laughs> you, you know who, be, who be benefits. Anyway, to be honest about it. Uh, This is Cape Town. Uh, um, if you look at who owns the businesses, like we spoke earlier on. Like you say, it's very seldom that we do get the opportunity to, okay, guys, we're going to take you guys to come and work with us. We're going to give you a percentage of the business. You're going to stay a boy for the rest of your life. Also, can it one subcontracting? One can also part with funny, funny ownership. So I think that's mm-hmm. where we must go. We must stop pulling each other down. Mm-hmm. So if there is some of us that have arrived, then we think we're white, yes. then, uh, then yeah. we don't care about the others. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we must also claim that space. Mm-hmm. We must be able to say, let's help each other, let's support each other, because every forum does it for their people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's ethnic mobilization everywhere. So mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't see a contradiction between colored people coming and showing solidarity with each other, mm-hmm. but not being racist. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I'm totally comfortable to be aligned because I've got many identities. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a Muslim, I'm a colored, yeah. I'm an ANC, I'm a Liverpool. <laughs> I've all of those things. I've, I've got all those identities <laughs> yeah, and I'm, a, yeah. I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah. And I can still love my brother that's from Manchester United. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different, but uh, yeah. uh, we, we, we can. So yeah. we, we, we can embrace the difference that we have. Yeah, yeah. And I think that is the main thing is to embrace the, the, the difference is to, you know, we're not that much different. I mean, when apart, we don't want to talk about this, but we, the legacy of apartheid is still very much alive. It's still here, but we don't see it. We don't see that our people are still living in poverty. We, still, we don't see it. In certain areas, you can't go because of your color, because of where you're from, you know? So I think we need to get to a point where we sort of, you know, address the matter in the room in Cape Town. Why isn't there a lot of colored owners, people owning, and black people owning businesses here? Why is businesses still very much white? Why aren't we getting funding for our people? You know, me and you had this conversation a couple of weeks back and, and we went into the community, we went to go see. And, and I mean, let's be honest, the, the DA always say, you know, we're investing money, we want to make business. That, that, that was Jordan's and I think I'm going to have him in a week which I want to ask him. He said that they want to make business so easy for people in Cape Town. But I mean, we still have issues where people are removed from, um, they're by Gatesville. People are removed because they don't have a permit. I mean, people just came from lockdown. So why are we removing people? Why aren't we assisting people? Get people out there, get the details, register them on a the system, give them a temporary pa- um 
you know, Papa, you know, a simple thing like the president, one of those family meetings during COVID, mm. he made a ruling, a national ruling, which says all municipalities in our country must waiver business registration. Mm. So he he made a law you know, that says anyone can trade because of the difficulty. You know yeah. what? The city of Cape Town didn't implement that. Mm. They still make it difficult for Gatesville traders, for everybody yeah. to, 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 to trade. So I think the city will... Let me use two, just two examples. Mm. The city break, Alakhan Energy, and they're going to do, um, they're going to uh, they're gonna deliver better energy than ESCOM. Mm. But just scratch the surface. Who controls the, the, the contracts for um, wind power, energy power? Mm. I, I met with a few colored Muslim uh, uh, energy, um, what's the solo guys? Yeah. And they say to me, it's, they must buy by white people and white people give them more expensive rates mm. than their own. Yeah. So that is how they price our people out of the competition. Mm. Who gets the contracts now in the city of Cape Town to do all of these things? The city doesn't have a procurement policy. So we, as mm. the ANC, mm. we say 40 or 50% of all the tenders in a municipality or national government mm. must go to black, previously disadvantaged, or that's a stuka. You yeah. must have, uh, what does the city do? They scrap that. Yeah. Ask Jordan. Yeah. Mayor Jordan mm -mm. in his meeting, mm -mm. how many of his contracts is going for 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 designated historically disadvantaged people? Mm -mm. What is your quota? Because he doesn't. They don't use the the local procurement quota mm -mm. that mm -mm. national have. Yeah. Because we we in the ANC at the national level, all our government departments must be um, historically disadvantaged. Yeah. Yes, there is abuse there mm -mm. because sometimes they give it to to jobs for pals. Yeah. But it was meant for all the historically disadvantaged yeah. uh, uh, communities. Creches. Let me use this one uh, example. Yeah. There's more than 3,500 creches that is unregistered. Huh? Yeah. Mandela Day, I took uh, care packs for the creches. Yeah. So the lot of creches in Manova Park and Manenberg, they tell me they're not getting the benefit of Cyril's 17 rand a day for a child. So yeah. Let me tell you again, ECD policy mm -mm. that the ANC brought out in, in, in the conference was, Yaka mm -mm. Kunt will get a 17 rand for a meal per day mm -mm. for 300 days once they're at crash. Okay. But the city is not allowing them to access that because they're not registered. Mm -mm. And you know how much is it to register zoning in the city? Yeah. See, as they know, a backyard in a and, and, and grassy park, mm -hmm. and you want to make a crash there, mm -hmm. you must pay more than 20, 30, 40,000 rand for zoning. Yeah. So the city, the city is criminalizing the poor man. They help you for some people. They don't know how to make people bang to make from a bad gevaar. Yeah. 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 That's, how, that's how they keep our people yeah. subjugated. Our yeah. people are drugged and drunk. Mr. Yeah. Van yes. Sorry to say. But you're talking the truth. That is that is the problem that we do have. And for is the other thing is this that you have mentioned now. You have an auntie down the road in Kevda mm. that looks after children. She's doing it out of her goodwill to look after these kids. That's, that's in Auntie, auntie Marilyn. She's got 30 kids that comes there every day after school and she makes them something to eat. She's not registered. Because you know why? She doesn't have money to like register. So where is she going to get 20,000? Right? I wrote a letter a month ago to Mayor Gordon. Mm -mm. I can send you a copy. So I'm challenging him now publicly and when you see him also. Yeah. Please respond to my letter. Mm -hmm. Please come to us and sit with us. Yeah. I can bring you all that crash aunties. Mm -hmm. And they can explain to you their story because he, I from her Twitter, no, don't worry, mail it for me, we'll sort it out. Yeah. Ik wacht nou nog. Yeah. So we, we, we mustn't bullshit. Mm -hmm. As politicians, my job is to keep them accountable because Allah must know uh, in charge. Yeah, the yeah. must for Allah about. That's right. So part of my job is mm -hmm. to ensure that they they do what they say. Yeah. Another example is the solar panels. Mm -hmm. huh? I asked how much is it to because I'm almost no solar panels. It's still too expensive mm -hmm. for ordinary people. Yeah. So I'm I'm pulling. Uh, I'm asking our national government. Come on, make solar panels cheap for men in the townships. Yeah. And you can get two or three solar panels and it's a basic unit offset. Yeah. But to register that in the city of Cape Town, people are saying it's also very expensive. Mm. As they need a blocky solar panel of the city, uh, if you put it on your house, it's yours. You yeah. pay for it. Yeah. You must register. It costs more than 5,000 Rand just to register. That. People don't have money. People don't have money. People don't have so money. those are two examples in the city of Cape Town mm. where 
it shows. Mm. It shows that the city of Cape Town is not caring or not responding to the needs of our, our yeah. communities. Yeah. But is, I just want to come back to... <laughs> Is that? Who's that now? Who's on the sub? Um, we edited. That's okay. I understand that. Um, Angus, Angus, you are you are you are gate crashing. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Angus. You are gate Angus, crashing. You weren't invited, Angus. Fire, you listen. <laughs> I'm very, very upset with Put Angus. yourself uh, on mute, Angus. How did he get in? Oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's my life, yeah. Is it, it, we, 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 we had him on a, um, a couple of weeks back, and he meant Fire were actually fighting. So. <laughs> but. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm on a. Sh- mm. Angus, this is not your show. Can you mute yourself? <laughs> yeah. but but nevertheless Faiz, i just also want to come back to the other thing what <laughs> can you just shut up man you, please uh angus <laughs> no i'm not muting you but you being disruptive can you listen for a change it's not your show it's not your um yeah Why don't you? In, why don't you? You put your hand up on the um, on the on what's your? But this is my show. It is on your thing. Is it? Can we just mute him? And then, so he's on Teams. Yeah, we we the different life. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, Angus, can you hear me now? I'm answering, I'm answering Uncle Stan's questions. I'm actually not entertaining you, so can you not be disrespectful? Uh, you are a guest on this program. No, no, no. No, no. Can you, can you mute Angus? Can you just... Can you just... No, I'm... No, no, no. That's not rubbish. Um, but you can't. But Angus, you can't take Alsa over now. Here we go. Yeah. Go. Angus can't take Alsa over. He always does it. And then the, the next day he makes tick TikTok videos. I want to invite him. No, I want to him. But nevertheless, are you sorry about that? <laughs> no, no, it's mine because I. You see, I'm also very transparent. Yeah, yeah. Last time. You see, he's a disrespectful person. He's an obnoxious, yeah. arrogant person. Mm-hmm. I had a run-in with him already. Yeah. So I'm trying to avoid him. Yeah. Um, he's a showman. Yeah. Um, I think the problem is here. He's got his own show. Mm-hmm. He disrupted my uh, uh, WhatsApp your, your, and my guys didn't yeah. even uh, yeah. mute him. Said, okay, let's proceed. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will, go, I will take to him again. But this is what I want to say for is, is that um, we also need to build a conducive environment for our people. I think with crime out of control everywhere, not only in Joburg, wherever, crime is out of control here as well. I know you had a bit of a concern, I think it was last week with what the minister said in that. Mm. Um, do you think there is something that we, because we have a lot of cops that is that is leaving the um, SAPs, this, the, we have a, a shortage of staff. And, and in order for us to run businesses, proper businesses and have security, we need SAPs to, to, to function. What can we expect? Look, I think there is a problem with lawlessness. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a we have a serious criminal economy here. Um, we almost like Mexico. Yeah. yeah on the Cape Flats, mm-hmm. the drug cartels, the criminal economy is very powerful. Yeah. Okay. So we must start there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have a, a police problem. Mm-hmm. We have a drug and crime problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think we need to get back to the moral fiber. Mm-hmm. There was a question in uh, in the city of Cape Town where they asked, how many drug dens do you know of? Mm-hmm. And the, the city of Cape Town responded and said, there's more than 400 mm-hmm. city 
council houses Mm-mm. that is selling tuk that is a, that's known yeah that is known that's known Mm-mm. so i think it's a big problem i think it's not look i know a lot of family cousins of mine that are drug addicts yeah. Yeah? so it's a disease it's a generational problem mm-hmm. you know cia brought uh, drugs in in the 70s to silence mainly colored people mm-hmm. just like they did with the black panthers yeah uh, they wanted to docile our people and so the legacies of apartheid is mm-hmm. still there very much so my my four four bears my father they, mm-hmm. they were enslaved on on mandrax yeah. yeah and then the next generation were enslaved so it's up to us mm-hmm. to put a stop there yeah yeah look the da doesn't have a plan uh to create safer and secure communities their only plan is it mustn't come to their suburbs mm-hmm. anastasia so they don't care what why can't they have the cape town improvement district mm-hmm. model in kailicha or mitchell's plain mm-hmm. why not because they just keep their own white suburbs mm-hmm. secure yeah okay so that's what what happens now i mean once crime comes to their areas then it's an issue mm-hmm. so and it's it's easy to do the blaming and and gaming so yes there is incompetent policemen but yeah. actually we have good policemen we do, we we do. do i know of yeah. a good hard um, 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 policeman that's not on the take yeah. that is that is clear mm-hmm. we have two policies mm-hmm. there's the community police forum concept and then there's the neighborhood concept mm-hmm. now it might sound similar mm-hmm. but it's two different things the neighbor the poli- community police concept is where we take over our streets where you like you remember we used to walk in there in Strandfontein yeah, yeah. Uh, you and my brother yeah, my yeah. soul rest in yeah, peace yeah. you used to take responsibility we mm-hmm. walk neighborhoods mm-hmm. and all of those things mm-hmm. those cpfs must be clothed fund walkie yeah. talkie they must be given support mm-hmm. okay and they must work in collaboration with the police yeah okay so that's also another way of taking back our streets that's right yeah? and and we must report if our son is involved in criminal activity we must take that back yeah. so the our, our problem of safety is a real problem mm. um i mean i i addressed the the bangladeshi community they mm. came to me with hands in the air yeah they said the extortion they used to pay a small barber shop on uh, in a, in the township used to pay maybe 10000 rand a month now they get hijacked mm. they get killed mm. for more money yeah so there's a lot of copycat and now i ask them why can't you work with your local cpfs why can't you work entrench yourself into yeah. the communities so that's what we're doing now we're saying to them stop being on your own yeah pay your tax formalize your business mm. um do the right thing and also work in in the community that you that you serve yeah so i'm I I called out the minister because it was wrong for him to say yeah. that uh, it's okay for us to be raped only once. Yeah. It's wrong. No, he can't say that. He no. can't say that no. and I I did call him out. Yeah. And m- us as men Mm-mm. must be very sensitive. You right. We must we must actually protect our women. Mm-mm. It's us that are perpetrators. Yeah. It is us that are doing these bad things Mm-mm. um and we must be the defenders of our women. That's right. It's it takes a man to say sorry. Mm-mm. even if you and you must own up if if i made a mistake yeah. and i did something wrong mm-hmm. part of my dangas is to to say sorry but promise i won't do it again yeah. because that culture of patriarchy is mm-hmm. still there yeah. tomorrow's women's day mm-hmm. what got us doing was got blow out killing and die but mm-hmm. we must we must also reevaluate how mm-hmm. we bring up our children yeah. how we bring up our boy child mm-hmm. how we bring because it's not out it Uh, we treat our children differently Mm-mm. the boy child gets more preference yep. than the girl child yeah um and so that patriarchy we must we must deal with Mm-mm. um and i think that is also a key thing that we must focus you know the gender-based violence okay let me just say mm-hmm. we put in now four two three new laws okay gender-based violence um if you perpetrated this you you know your name is going to be on a, a roll okay uh, so that we we identify the pedophiles we yeah, identify yeah. them there's no bail there's supposed to be um this in each it is police station Mm-mm. that's what i do oversight yeah when i go to athlon i always check Mm-mm. uh station commander do you have your rape kits yeah. do you have a separate room for the survivors is there someone that's going to help this woman because you see we want 
we want perpetration we want we want prosecution yeah. we want consequences mm-hmm. uh, we we want to have harsher sentences for for men that's doing this thing yeah yeah but we also need the system to work the system has historically failed women <coughs> No? Yes. The yes. justice system has historically failed women. Mm-hmm. So there, there's a need for us to just move and, and, and create a better uh, system going mm-hmm. forward. And you are right, the justice system has, because, I mean, the guys coming out of prison, like you say, they are known to the community, they are victor, they, they are perpetrators, they go to prison for one month, and they come for, for a month or a year, and they come out, and they do the same thing. Prison doesn't rehabilitate people, you know? And for that reason, we have the same issues happening all over the, the Cape Fletch where you have um the same men raping women and we need harsher sentence and i think that is where government needs to step up and say okay we're going to change law remember when we took over 30 years ago the liberators we my first vote was for the anc i'm not the same to say that time i voted for the anc because i believe we, we, we were going to have a better country 30 years later for his thing think things are have changed i mean our fathers used to still have jobs. We, there was jobs for us here. My father could still work. Um, my mother still had a job. That years later, there's nothing like, like that. Things have gone sideways. You know, we, we, we can't survive anymore. People are unemployed. You probably have 60% of this country unemployed. And for that reason, we, we need to look. I'm about solutions. Sure. How are we going to fix this? I can tell you this. The ANST is probably will still be here another the next five years. The ANST is big. The ANST will still be here. But... I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about the way forward. How are we going to work together? ANC, DA, whoever is the PA. How are we going to take hands and fix our country? Look, I think we must be practical. Mm-mm. I see you. I'm going nowhere. You're going nowhere. Mm-mm. You were South African. I'm a South African. We must find solutions for our problems. Mm. Some of us are just complainers, complainers and moaners. Yeah. And then there's those of us that are practical and say, let's do things together. I am the first to admit, I accept democracy. Mm-mm. The people hasn't chosen the ANC. Mm-mm. We are the, in the minority. Mm-mm. Our role is to be effective opposition. Mm-mm. We must show the DA up where they are failing our people, and we must commend them where they are working. Mm-mm. But in spaces like I, as a member of parliament, I work in the Athlone area. I work with my councillor. I, I sit him down, I, mm. if there's a function, I, we work together. Mm. If there is a problem, I raise it, I raise it sharply. Yeah. I'm not in a favor com- com- competition here, I, I do things for my community. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm making an open plea. Yeah. I'm also saying to, to us, politics is politics. We vote uh, every four years yeah. and you choose. Yeah. No? And that's the, that's the beauty of our democracy, you choose. Mm-hmm. I hope that in next year's time, you will give me an opportunity to lead yeah. yeah because you've given the da Mm-mm. i'm saying you i'm talking As about the general, general colored yeah, people yeah. you've given the da three terms Mm-mm. okay the da has been in in power in the city uh since 2008 Mm-mm. okay so you must say is your situation getting better because you the one criticism i have Mm-mm. people blame the anc Mm-mm. for everything yeah as it looks can more as the ANC. <laughs> and literally it is uh, if the if the if the moon tide is not if the low tide is not coming it's the ANC. Yeah. But you've chosen a provincial government and a and a city government of the DA. Mm-hmm. Okay? So so I think it's also unfair for us to to take everything all of the blame. Mm-hmm. Huh? So I think there is uh, what we must own and we must correct yeah. and we, we must we must the people must fall in love with the ANC again. Mm-hmm. So XA out it also so a strange boyfriend and girlfriend. I get you sick of it. 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 And all that good. So I must now regain that trust. Mm-hmm. And we must do it consistently. Mm-hmm. So that means also we need good people back in the ANC. Yeah. Only for what means in the ANC. Mm-hmm. So that's also part of my thing is I'm getting older. Yeah. And so our generation is looking for better, newer, capable, more committed mm-hmm. ANC people. Yeah. Because the ANC that I know is not the ANC then. Yeah. Uh, the, I mean, the ANC that I know was or Tambo, Chris, Hani. Those were people that were giving. And we need a critical mass of good people. Yeah. I'm also, I'm, I'm saying openly, I'm using this platform. Mm-hmm. There is a home for colored people also mm-hmm. in the ANC. Yes, you can, you can go to Patriotic Alliance, you can mm-hmm. do all of those things. Mm-hmm. But small parties don't have a national footprint. Yeah. Eh? We, we, our ANC branches can fit settle up for they can they can write 
Heathfield ANC na na uh, uh, ANC by Latulias mm. because that's the that's the capability that we have. Mm. So I'm also saying give us a chance. Mm. Give us a chance here in the Western Cape. Mm. Um, we need to deal with the economic. The real problem is not political freedom. Yeah, it's economic freedom. So what does it need? We need structural reform. Mm. You know the 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 equity uh, on the JSE is still largely in the hands of multinational companies mm -hmm. which happens to be mainly white mm -hmm. okay your 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 and they are not willing to share what we're mm -hmm. saying now we must deconcentrate the economy it's a fancy word yeah but we must break down the monopolies mm -hmm. there's four banks yeah APSA FNB uh Capitec uh with the honest standard standard bank mm -hmm. they they collude amongst themselves to say okay or city the interest rate so and so yeah but if we have more competition, who come can see a, a ICAPA mm -hmm. mutual bank mm -hmm. where we put all our savings in there, all of us, mm -hmm. um, and say, okay, we're going to let this bank grow because access to finance is also a key thing. Mm -hmm. So we must change the system. The financial problems is really because our system is too mm -hmm. uh, focused on, on concentration of profits yeah. and not we're not caring too much of our people and mm -hmm. i think that is also something that we need to look at we're asking young people to look at creative ways of helping us solve our problems yeah you know, with with the president with settle is he's trying to claw back the ANC from the corruption mm -hmm. and the precipice mm -hmm. but we're also inviting people mm -hmm. to join hands with us yeah let's not wait for a a hand out or this or that let's come up with ideas a simple example we told the president there's big problems in our schools mm. then we brought out this project the learner assistant the teacher assistant mm -mm. now the president has employed i think it's like fifty thousand teacher assistants across all our high schools mm. all our primary schools they don't get paid a lot yeah but my my niece is now working she's got matric and she's going to learn for for studies for 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 educator yeah and i think she's earning like five thousand seven thousand rand a month yes but that's a little bit of money mm. but at least there's dignity in work there. yes she stands up uh, early mm. she she and she's and she's proud yeah because she's helping those kids mm -mm. and the older teachers are also everybody wins in that situation that's right so there was a problem mm -mm. and we find an innovative solution so i'm help us then i mean i'm i'm prepared to write a uh, call um send a whatsapp send a twitter to to all our ministers mm -hmm. because that's uh, you can work through me yeah so if there's a, a problem you can work through my office we we are prepared to do and to keep our ministers accountable yeah i'm yeah. holding my ministers mm -hmm. at the national level accountable yeah i called out uh mr becky clearly mm -hmm. and i'll do the same for the city mm -hmm. and and the and the provincial government and i think that is what we need for is, for is we need to stand up we irrespective of yes we belong to this bro to this brand but if something is wrong we need to say well okay but i, I don't agree with this and, and, and i think that is where our voices come in we can speak up and we can speak out what i want to ask you for is let's say you guys win cape town you see you said now we must give it to you means there's no cloth and circle and we're going to give cape town to the anc um but let's put it out, out there what is the possibility because we need jobs we need safety and security we need a lot of things what is the first thing what that, that you will tackle look i mean it's a million dollar question it's a <laughs> difficult question um we need to work together yeah right? so and you need to be a caring you need to so a mayor needs to be surrounded by good counselors mm -hmm. a counselor must be in his community yeah. he must do whatever he or she can for our community yeah but we must dream and think big you know i love the city mm -hmm. cape town is my home but I want it to be a place where I want all my kids. I don't want to go into white spaces. It is look one clear. Yeah. So I can still get away walking in, in Lindad. No? Yeah, but yeah. last time, it's a little bit of my way. I'm going to see that. Because I stayed too late there. Yeah, no? yeah. Um, and I get the uh, English <laughs> word that I love all the time. So I, we, the city belongs to all of us. That's right. No? And so we must find each other. Look, there's a space for a colored person here. Mm. The coloreds are part of the south african makeup yeah um, whites are also part but so is people that is in isamo yet to yeah. in hangbear so yeah. we mustn't pretend that mm -hmm. everything is okay. so i'm asking let's hold each other's hands that's right if the anc can get an opportunity mm -hmm. 
I think our first priority is to focus on the economy. Yes, yeah. big. So look, let me tell you, the city has a hundred and fifty billion yeah. rand yeah. resource. Mm -hmm. The the uh, the the provincial government mm -hmm. also has a big resource. Yeah. How do you use the money to maximize people's opportunities? Mm -hmm. I think that for me. Yeah. Let's in source job mm. opportunities. Yeah. Let's bring back localization. Yeah. Let's say, okay, if here is in Grassy Park, we we need to cut grass. Yeah. Instead of giving that to someone else, mm. get the locals here. Like yeah. Ibuya's, uh, mm. um, uh, uh, local absorption. So there's many possibilities, but we need to have the political will. Mm -mm. We need to have the political will yeah. to say no to gangs and to crime. That's right. We need to say to have the political will to to give discipline back mm -hmm. to our kids. Mm -hmm. You see, it's not a government problem. Yeah. Um, and so that for me is where we have, have to go. Mm -hmm. You see, I think we can be better. Mm -hmm. We can be better. We can form a partnership. For me, it's not just about power. Yeah. It's about what you do when you have that power and how do you serve your people to your best of your ability. Yeah. And sometimes you mess it up. But when we get power, we must be able to take our whole community. Yeah. Because you see, the problem is what mm. we're doing now. We're using colored vote to protect white privilege. Mm. Bottom line. Yellow mm. votes mm. vote break on white privilege to protect. No, I'm, 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 I'm just saying that because general, general. I'm making a general thing because you see, um, and even my appeal, to, I don't hate white Cape Townians. Mm. But I also don't like the fact that people pretend mm -hmm. there's no inequality and you can't do something about it. Mm -hmm. So all Keptonians, just like when we were in COVID, yeah. we had Hartman, we, we gave, we shared, we loved, we, we, we were considered. Now mm -hmm. we're back to our own ways. That's right. Um, we're locking up our bins mm -hmm. and can mm the areas come. So let us, let us have the generosity mm -hmm. of the rich and the patience of the poor. Yeah. Let's, let's bring people together. That's right. And let's build bridges of trust mm -hmm. and cooperation between our communities. Mm -hmm. Look at Colorado yeah. and Sitalo. Mm -hmm. That community is separated here. Heinz, uh, what's that part's name? Um, by, um, uh, is it Jake's? Um, yeah, it's Jake's here. Yeah, it's Jake's here. Now, I always wonder, just before elections, there's black on black violence there. Mm -hmm. there's, there's skirmishes between the two communities. Mm -hmm. But now when I, when I ask, what is the issues? Mm -hmm. It's, it's, the colored people are saying, why must this, not in my backyard, these people yeah. are not paying uh, yeah. bonds, they, they're blocking the roads, mm -hmm. um, um, and we want to go to work. Mm -hmm. and, and so you don't put yourself in each other's shoes. Yeah. You don't see how we must cooperate, mm -hmm. build that cooperation. And who benefits by creating the false othering, yeah. the divide and rule? Mm -hmm. Because you see, they can demand us yield it for the rest when you leave. Mm -hmm. And they can play in your ear blocky. Yeah. And they can dunk just bitter as mm -hmm. an But that's a false yeah. narrative. It's better to extend a hand of friendship, yeah. of learning, of embracing, of celebrating. Come as learn Makasa cultures. Come as learn Makasa languages. Come as learn Makasa respect. Because I will not hear Jamut for my respect. Mm -mm. So if, if, if you want me to respect you, mm -mm. Give, it to, give it to me also in that's return. Right. So I think that's for me, the non-racial thing in the Cape Town. If we can get it right, Buddha. Yeah, yeah. As us not makkah can see. It is mensen. Us is mensen. Yeah. They think of Ubuntu. Yeah. Mandela call it um, Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. uh, menswaardigheid is a yeah. mooi Afrikaans word. Yeah. Menswaardigheid. Mm -hmm. Human dignity. Yeah. I see you. And that's what we need to do, brother. Yeah. That's all what we need them to do. And, and, and I think that is the thing that we, we teach at home. Mm. Uh, like a lot of things that, that like, like we spoke earlier about, is things that we have to fix in our home, in our communities. And from there onwards, we can say, okay, let's do it collectively. Mm. Uh, because I think, you know, when you said now earlier, when it used to be back in the day, um, and during COVID, we could go anywhere. Um, or, or we had that compassion. All of a sudden, that compassion has now gone out by the door because COVID is over. You're not allowed here. We were for two years together, locked up in a room. And all of a sudden, things have just changed. But is there anything else? We spoke a lot. Um, it's always nice having you on the platform. Anything from your side? Because I know you. you there's a lot of things you guys spoke at the conference. Something that you just want to drop and say, this is what you guys can expect. Um, something of, of importance. Look, I think 
we must always find a balance between looking after the poor, mm. the social net. So yeah. look, we we are all talking about the basic income ground. There's mm. this concept about those that are really struggling. Yeah. We must lift them up. We need to get the money for that. So yeah. that's one big concept that we're trying to mm. pull through the basic income ground. Yeah. Um, we our big challenge is. There's even talk of a wealth tax, so mm. so there's also something very in- interesting. Yeah, a wealth tax is where uh, we say to those that can afford, say they own Lamborghinis, and you've just got so much money, Mm-mm. but uh, uh, why don't you pay a certain amount of that? Mm-mm. Maybe even if it's just one yeah, percent, yeah, pay it back Mm-mm. so that we 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 can we can redistribute the wealth. Yeah. So that's a very controversial thing. Mm-mm. But that's something that we 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 looking at, the the land expropriation bill, um, yeah. is also something that we're saying now. So the president gave us a report. He says, look, more than a, uh, I think it's like hundred thousand hectares are made available. Mm. So if you have a productive idea, if you have you want to, you don't just want the land for 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 scope, mm. but you want to grow, you yeah. want to do things. Mm-hmm. I'm saying to people. Even with cannabis, the cannabis industry. Yeah. No? Let me so so uh, w- we 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 are saying that cannabis is a great revenue income Mm-mm. generator. Yeah. We consume cannabis Mm-mm. on the Cape Flats. It's part of our culture. It's Mm-mm. part of our makeup. Yeah. Um, it was criminalized for a long time. Now the ANC is leading this thing about uh, legalizing and decriminalizing and commercializing the cannabis. Yeah. What happens? Big multinationals want to take our product, yeah. take it to Canada, mm-hmm. take it to where. So it's the same old model. Yeah. What we are saying in the ANC, Kegiza, why can't we make product and beneficiate? Mm. Why can't we get the machine and make the oil oh, or sorry. make this yeah. or make that? Because the value adding, the profit, mm. the the jobs mm. is in the beneficiation. There you go. So I'm saying to people on the Cape Flats, look, keep your chin up. Mm. The glass is not half empty. That's right. The glass is half full. Mm-mm. You must believe that tomorrow can be better. Mm. Don't be part of the narrative that is living in fear mm. and hatred yeah. and doubt and uh, scared Mm-mm. of your neighbor. Yeah. Be part of that that is brave. Mm-mm. Be courageous. Because yeah. even though I was carjacked uh, in uh, the other day, Mm-mm. I'm yeah. going there. I'm not going to yeah. be afraid for criminal. If it's my time, criminals yeah. are taking me out. That's. That's yeah, up to God. Yeah, That's I'm um, yeah. set out. Yeah. But you see, I'm not going to live Mm-mm, in yeah. fear. So I also want to encourage all of us. Mm-mm. Let's live in hope. That's right. Let's live in hope, Mm-mm. but also action. They can yell that and your slow is lamb and big by sun lamy and then don't say he's in charge. So, yeah, yeah. so you must yeah. also do something. Mm-mm. And there's so much opportunities, ne? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I I downloaded the annual performance plans of all the 53 departments. Yeah, we have a 1.2 trillion mm-hmm. rand worth of budget. Yeah, so in every of those departments, sports, education, health, da 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 da. What my job is and what I want others to help me is, what fun day bring us to Cape Flat to. Uncle Stan, uh, Uncle Stan's a man to. Yeah, and who can Uncle Stan's a man to? Mm. They opportunities grab in both hands. Yeah, yeah, and I think that is very, very important. We said, how are we going to grab that opportunity? Me and you've been in the Cape Flats. We've seen many of the companies are not compliant. We need to look at those things and 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 how we can become cl- compliant. Be in, um, innovative. You know, was can he? We'll see. Was we rich, rich? Was we well, rich, rich? But we're not empowering ourselves. We're not upskilling ourselves. For is, thank you so much, brother. It's always nice having you here. Um, Ons het baie gepraat, kom ons, kom, kom, kom ons redgeer so wat, wat die mense sê gau. Daar sê, 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 You know, this you one thing, you can't paint that, all of us with the same this brushes. This one thing I admire about you guys, and, and politicians, you take a lot of, you know, somebody else did it, yeah. but you taking it, you know, so I, I have to amend you for that, because I personally know you, you know, so I amend you for that. Um, what is the other one? Um, somebody said the EFF must come in here. Yes, I said to what's his name? You must let me know. Um, what's his name? Nazir. Um, uproot the down. Just Nazir just is my down. friend, man. Nazir, yeah. Nazir, Nazir is a quiet one. Nazir uh, is a quiet one. Uh, we, we get along famously in Parliament. <laughs> Sometimes well, uh, yeah. I'm not just full of it. Why, man? That's unruly, man. Somebody said there are most of our people who had seats in Parliament seat to themselves. Okay, th- th- that is also a valid point. Um, ANC used us all, okay, but it's by a quad. Just go, how, there was one that I saw earlier, man, from 
and then you just go up for me uh, or down um was it up upper quickly um no no middle middle more you was it about abroad most of our people okay no no there was one that she spoke about the uh, abroad so just, just just go down quickly there, there there we go uproot the downgrading of communities and, and really do programs to build a better youth. I think that is one of the things we need to implement is programs. Programs mm. for our young people. It's something that we lack in Cape Town. All over, you know, mm. is looking at programs. For instance, when we went to school, we had hood work. We had mats. There was no such thing as mats, mats light. Light, yeah. And it was, a, you know, that was... It's like you could die in front of mat light. <laughs> light. There's a lot <laughs> of things... That was higher grade and, 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 and standard grade or whatever, yeah. Yeah, and as I get raped, I get some skin lower grade too. Yeah. But there was, you know, who to work. We could do things like that. We could work with our hands. Yeah. Um, skill of schools. There was a lot of... Not all our youngsters are good at academically, but they are good with their hands. It's things like that. We, so look, we let me tell you, like, the FETs, no? they call it... Uh, if it is a vocational, so I'm of an Oswald Lear by the universities, but actually, uh, Falsberg College, all of those things, Lear for Ambach, they're gonna for ten turn of it, they're gonna boil up, and there's a lot of good money, plumbing. So all of these skills are there now, and they also get bursaries. If you if you get into the you know into the technicon, you almost guaranteed, and your your parents earn less than three hundred thousand. Yeah. Per, per annum, you almost guaranteed to get the bursary. Okay. You must just deliver the results. You must pass. So I, I mean, in everything, mm. there's almost a solution. Yeah. But the problem is, also means more fat. Yeah. The opportunity. Yes, yes, yes. But yes, we spoke a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and thank you for being here. You know, it, thanks it, for it, having it, me it, and creating spaces. Excellent. I, I know that mm. sometimes we don't get the narrative. Yeah. And uh, you see, we must engage. Yeah. I want to thank all of the haters, even. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> haters <laughs> will hate. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll probably message me to ask me when can you also come on. Yeah, you know, the one thing about Cape Flood Stories is we need guys like you. We need to interact, sure. bringing this to our people. So now people heard about what the pro plans are. Because believe it or not, there's still a lot of people voting for the ANC and there's people voting for the DA. So we need to bring it to our people and say, okay, this is the next step, this is the next plan making it possible, educating our people about voting. But Is, thank you so much, brother. Thank you for that, Stan, it was and nice uh, having the you. team. I really appreciate awesome. the opportunity. Thank you so much. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, that was for East Jacobs, Member of Parliament for Small Businesses. Um, he joined us tonight to speak about the, the possibilities and also just to catch up on what he's busy, what, what he's busy with. You guys can follow him, him on Facebook. He do come visit me a lot. Um, and then we have um, you know meetings and stuff with small businesses. We are planning one now soon. So you guys are welcome. Um, I bring DA people also, ANC people, PA, we ever want to come because the thing is, is we need to bring the politicians to our community and that is what we, we, we're here for. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Please do share this. Please do leave your um, comments here. Um, enemy says here, um, you're really enlightening us. Thank you for ease. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We will chat again. Cheers.